Hello, my name is Sam. I'm part of OpenIt Agency. We are an organization that basically uh, experiments with techniques and business models to develop open source hardware. I'll explain open source hardware in the presentation, but uh, basically the idea is how do we produce physical things like we do Wikipedia. Currently we uh, are using resources and producing waste at an incredible rate. Um, it's out of control and, and really as an individual you feel very hopeless and uh, disillusioned with it. But for me and my team, the opportunity lies in collaboration with other people to take on problems bigger than anything we can do ourselves. Uh, one of my colleagues works in waste, Alice. She uh, tells me that we produce 1.6 kilograms of waste per person per day. If you put that into garbage trucks, you could make a line uh, all the way from Berlin to Jerusalem, 6,000 stinking kilometers long. Um, uh, so it's a, we don't really know kind of where to, where to start. But luckily, of course, we, we know how to solve environmental problems. Uh, you turn off the light when you leave the room, uh, you buy eco-washing powder, you um, take your, your bags to the supermarket, and you pay for that little surcharge on your, your flight to Mallorca. Um, of course, these things are all good, but they're not exactly going to turn around the momentum of uh, environmental destruction. So we're basically thinking that, that our problems are uh, systemic. We can't just make small little changes. We need a radical solution. We need to change the way that we produce and use goods and the way that we um, uh, manage our resources. And so what we're suggesting is uh, a circular economy. Basically, at the moment, we have uh, a linear economy. This means that we take resources out of the ground, we use them, and we throw them away. Uh, it's not a particularly sustainable model, of course. It requires that we have, uh, if in the long term, it requires that we have infinite resources and infinite capacity for waste, which, of course, we don't. The waste is uh, a disaster, and the design concentrates on the central parts. Circular economy is the idea that everything should be designed for multiple cycles of use. Um, different production processes are carefully aligned so that the output of one manufacturing process feeds into the input of another one. Um, so here, waste is not waste, it's seen as raw material for a new production price. The problem I, ha I have with circular economy right now is it is led by big companies, big institutions in a top-down manner. They're working on their own projects within their own factory walls and they're working on proprietary processes and basically there's very little transparency involved. Uh, an example of why I don't think this can work is, is if we look at the nature's life cycles. Um, a seed grows in the ground, turns into a grand tree, this dies, decomposes, and turns into more nutritious soil for trees to grow. Sounds very nice and elegant, but it's not so simple. In this process, in our ecosystems, we have thousands of different processes going on all the time. Um, we've got fungi, we've got bacteria, we've got uh, weather patterns, all sorts of things, and the tree is interacting with all of these different systems. It's the combination of uh, these different factors, these inputs and outputs, that make this work. It's not just a gloriously designed tree working by itself. And similarly, our own uh, industrial economy is very complicated as well. We don't think that one particular company is able to understand everything there is to understand about all of these different areas. And we basically say that it's impossible for them to create a circular economy on their own, within their own factory walls. We need collaboration. We need to be able to look into what people are doing in different parts of the industry, and in different parts of the, the manufacturing process. We need to be working together on common projects, and we need basically an open source approach to the circular economy. So open source uh, is an idea that exists in many different flavors. The main concept is basically that if you distribute a product, that you also publish the recipe, the source code, the information that's required to produce that product. That allows people to understand it, to repair it. There's also the idea of permission, that you give people permission to improve it and develop it. There's a collaborative aspect to open source as well. This is an image of the uh, uh, visualization of the Linux kernel. These little dots are basically people, independent software developers, and it's also paid employees by, from Google and IBM, all working together on a common goal. And basically, this is what we hope to do as well. What we want to do is, is create solutions that anybody can use, that anyone can implement anywhere in the world, and they can adapt it to their own local uh, situations. We want to work on common projects. And uh, we want to raise awareness of, of why this is important and, and how to do things in the best way possible. 
The way we want to do this is by starting with a, an event called Open Source Circular Economy Days. This is a five-day hackathon. It's happening here in Berlin, but also all around the world. And this is where people are working on physical prototyping, on design, trying to make the first examples of uh, an open source approach to the circular economy. Um, we started this with our six-person team a few months ago, put out the call, and now we have 30 different cities all around the world that are taking part in this. Um, and uh, the, the variety of different projects has actually been astounding. Many of these people come from the digital fabrication uh, uh, area. They have fab labs with 3D printers and so on. Um, so Abidjan and, uh, and Lome, they actually have open source 3D printers made from used computer parts in, uh, in Togo. Um, we've got people from the open data side, existing circular economy initiatives. Um, in Shenzhen, they're working on documenting repair practices. In Stockholm, they've got a, a design fiction theater show. And we also have a number of open source initiatives which we can already plug into, which already exist. This is Open Structures. It's like a community developed Meccano set, a modular um, project that you can build anything out of. So you, once you're, you, you're done with your suitcase, you dismantle it, and you can make your cargo bike from the, uh, from the same parts. What we want to do is basically create the first stepping stones over this uh, four or five days uh, towards the circular economy. Obviously, it's too complicated to do in five days. So we are um, using these examples, using these networks that we build out of this to slowly help each other get towards the circular economy at the end. And we need a lot of help. So we need help from you guys. If you are interested in this, please join us in uh, Agora in June and uh, help us to, to build a, a citizen-led collaborative open source circular economy together. Thanks.